Good day, everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Angelo, and I am your kitchen boy. And we like to thank you for stopping by. So today we're gonna make osso buco. It's an Italian dish, and it's made of beef shank with, with tomato sauce. On the side here, I already started my onions a while ago, so it can help us to save time on our cooking. So while my onions is staying there, I have a flour here. Just put a bit of black pepper in there. Salt. So I'm gonna use this flour mixture later on to coat with my beef shank. Alright, season the beef shank. A little heavy with salt. Both sides. Cracked black peppers, both sides. So what I'd like to do with my beef, I want to tie it. Okay, so the traditional way of making osubuko is to coat it with flour. Put the flour both sides and also the edges. So make sure everything coated. So remember our flour is we season it with salt and pepper. A good top and we're gonna sear it in the medium high temperature and oil, right? All right, we're gonna add olive oil. And so it gets to about 350 degrees. Okay, the second beef is going in as well. I like to hear the sizzling of the sear meat. This is beautiful. Look at the color. This is what we wanted. So let's transfer this beef shank in the other container for a while. We're gonna for our sauteed onions. We're gonna deglaze this with red wine. We're gonna reduce it and spray all the goodness that stick in the bottom of the pan. If you're just here, you can smell the aroma of the red wine, the sweetness. The red wine is reduced, so we're gonna add our next ingredient. Carrots, I like my carrots a bit chunky. My celery, mix, and I want to throw in garlic, no, five pieces. Okay, let's just put them in. Now it's good. Smells like heaven here. So the flavor of the vegetables already developed, infused with red wine. So it's time for our beef shank to go back in. So good. So we're gonna add white wine to our osobuco. Whatever white wine you like to drink, put it on. Doesn't matter. So uh, there's a citrusy flavor in it. About 150 ml. We're gonna throw in some dried thyme, dried rosemary, a mixture of diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. In the pan. I'm gonna add here the beef stock. I don't wanna use some water in here, so beef stock's the best. And throw in a little bit of salt. You can always add later. And more black pepper. So and this guy will go in the oven for about one and a half hours to two for 380 degrees. I'm just gonna cover this guy with 
Aluminum foil. And into the oven. All right, guys. Ooh, wait is over. I can't wait to try it. Let's see. Yep. Oh, look at the steam coming out. Oh, the smells so wonderful. Bracing in the oven for one and a half hours. Let's see if it's fall up to the bones. Oh, look at the bones. Look at the bones right there. It's falling out of the bones. Hmm. I can smell the dried herbs in there. The rosemary, thyme, and add the olives. Transfer that to the plate with my sauteed veggies, the broccoli, beans, and a blistered cherry tomatoes, and mushrooms. Of course, usubuko is better with mashed potatoes. So mashed potatoes there. We just need to put some of our veggies. Get some broccoli here. Here. Another here. And then three pieces of these beans going right there. Look at that. And some cherry tomatoes around. One, two, three. Time for this guy here. The star of the show, the Uso Buko. Oh, it's full up to the bones. Oh my god. Look at that. Mm. Put some olives on top. Mm. Every time I pick something in the pan, I smell goodness. I smell heaven. Some of these carrots. So, how about you put the other piece on top? Oh, that's massive portion. Look at that. I'm gonna scoop some of this sauce here, put on top. Two layers of uso buko. Look at that. Mm. I still have to add more of these mushrooms. And here we go. Uso buko is ready. So, this is our finished product, the uso buko. I was really impressed of what the outcome is. I'm not expecting that it will be as beautiful as this. Oh, it's like a garden of usubuko here. I can't wait to try. This is a masterpiece right there. I can't wait to try it. It looks good, but we have to try. We have to taste. So I base this one in the oven for one and a half hours. Let's see, it's falling to the bone. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. There's an explosion of flavor in there. The red wine reduction, the white wine, the caramelization of the beef and the roux. Well done. It's beautiful. Way beyond my expectation.